Hi folks, my name is Madeline and I'm working with the Chapman Learning Commons. Today I will be teaching you how to log into Zoom using a personal meeting ID and passcode. If Zoom is not embedded into your school platform for your course, or you want to join Zoom for any other reason, you will either have a personal meeting link or a meeting ID and a passcode, or you will have both. If you have a link, follow the instructions for logging in using a personal meeting link in our other video. If you do not have a link, or the link does not automatically open Zoom for you, you can use your meeting ID and passcode. To join Zoom like this, you must open Zoom. If you have Zoom downloaded, you can use the application. Otherwise, you can just use your browser. You do not need to sign in. Once you have Zoom open, choose Join a Meeting. Once you have clicked it, it will ask you for your meeting ID or your personal meeting link. If you have both, just copy and paste one of them into this box. In the box below, enter the name you wish to use for this meeting. The two checkboxes below ask if you would like to not be connected to audio or video. Otherwise, you will be connected to both. However, when you join the meeting, your mic and video will initially be turned off. You will likely want your audio and video to be connected, so do not check the buttons. Once this is inputted, click join. Zoom will then ask for your meeting passcode. Once you have entered it, click join. If this meeting has not yet started, it will say waiting for the host to start this meeting. In this case, you just wait. Once the meeting has started, it will say verifying passcode, and then it may say connecting for a bit. Once it has connected, depending on the settings your host has chosen for the meeting, you may get a pop-up with a video preview. Here, you can choose whether you wish to join with or without the camera on yourself. If you want other people to be able to see you, join with video. If you do not want to be seen, join without video. You will still be able to see the other people's video, and you can choose to turn your video on later. If you do not get this pop-up, your camera will be turned off when you are connected. Then Zoom will ask you to choose an audio option. Choose Join with Computer Audio. When you are connected, you will get a message on your screen that says you are using the computer audio. Your audio will be turned off when you are connected. Now you have joined the Zoom meeting and should be able to see and hear anyone else in the meeting. Thanks for watching. For more information and to view our other foundational skills videos, visit learningcommons.ubc.ca.